it shows the level of threat they have been causing the IDF and Israel as a whole. And I saw Mohammed Jab's name then. I was like, damn. Yes, my name was in there. That means I haven't been doing enough. Brothers and sisters, just imagine for a second that you give 10 pounds in donation and that 10 pounds is used to buy food or bricks or whatever to help the people in Gaza. But then just imagine this amazing deed that you want to do, but we turn it into a money-making machine. How? The waqf is exactly that. They take your money and the money that we are going to put in, in this waqf, this building, and every single time the money generated from that waqf, that building, is going to go to our Palestinian brothers and sisters for the next 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 100, 150 years. And this will be a form of true sadaqajariya. I myself will be donating for that, inshallah. Click the link below and donate. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless and preserve you guys. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. Recently, a picture was circulate, circulating on the internet and on X, uh, previously known as Twitter, of the names that were written down on these um, bombs that are using to kill innocent men, women and children. Babies, toddlers, yes. Little kids, yes. And usually they were writing the names of themselves. Now these individuals, as you guys know, who have no shame, IDF has absolutely exposed themselves. And I'll be honest, I'm a bit jealous. Why? Because the people that are on there, it shows the level of threat they have been causing the IDF and Israel as a whole. And I saw Mohammed Jab's name there and I was like, damn. Yes, my name was in there. That means I haven't been doing enough. And Mohammed Jab was intellectually dropping these intellectual bombs on them left, right, center, especially, especially on the unholy Shamoli. Yes, and I have no doubt that his son, the war criminal terrorist, his real son, yes, his son is a terrorist, the war criminal, I'm very sure, because Anholi Shmoli has been crying about hijab since that debate happened. The guy hasn't let go of hijab's name. He's been talking about him over and over and over again. My gosh, the damage, the humiliation that he suffered that day, he will remember it for the last, from the, till the day he will die. With us Muslims, the moment we die, yes, we take the shahada. It looks like for unholy Shimoli, his last words before he dies is going to be Muhammad Hijab. Yes, he's been so hurt that I believe he got his son to write these names down and write Muhammad Hijab's name down. This only shows, let me tell you something, it's an honor. It's a badge of honor to show that your enemies who target only civilians for that matter, who only target civilians, babies, kids, innocent people, and they write your name on that, it shows how hurt they are and how shameless they are, and how arrogant and racist they are. The Zionists we're talking about. So brothers and sisters, Mohammed Hijab, you should be proud of yourself, that they could do nothing but just write your name because they cannot harm you. And not only that, this could even be seen as a threat. This could also insinuate the harming of Mohammed Hijab and the individuals on that list, on these bombs that their names written on. So I'm going to end this video on what, brothers and sisters? The idea of Israel as a force, yes, as this mass, this state, this oppressing state has bought ads on our channel to change the narrative. It's not working. It will never work. Not only that, it has come to this. I'm going to end with Mohammed Hijab's words, a message to all the coward IDF soldiers. You cowards. I'm happy the idea of know who I am. The difference between my intellectual missile and theirs is mine land where it matters. Deep in the troubled psyches of the enemies of the oppressed, let me prove their cowardice. I hereby challenge anyone in the IDF to a one-to-one -one legal fight in the UK. You have 12 hours to respond. And no, you cannot fight my child as a replacement. Very well said. And put them in their place, brothers and sisters. They are scared and they are shook. Why? Because they know the whole world has woken up. It's not like before. The Zionist scums of this earth should know we are on their necks intellectually. And legally, in every aspect, we will not let go. And the blood of the children, the Palestinian kids, you will inshallah pay for it. You guys are war criminals and you should be charged. That's all I have to say, brothers and sisters, inshallah. Till next time, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We are happy to see that the enemies, these individuals, these baby killers, are shaking in their boots. Till next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.